Hi there, this is James Swanick, and you're listening to the Alcohol Free Lifestyle Podcast, where you learn how to take back control over alcohol and live a life of health, wealth, love, and happiness. Warning, you do get better looking when you quit alcohol. I'm telling you, don't accuse me of not warning you. When you quit alcohol, the toxins leave your face. They leave your skin. You have more clarity and energy and focus because the toxins stay in your skin for seven to 10 days after you have a glass of wine or a beer or whatever your alcoholic drink is. And then when you eliminate those toxins, your skin starts to look the way that nature intended your skin to look and you just naturally get better looking. I'm James Swanick from the Alcohol Freedom Formula. Down below there's a a free guide for you to get started in reducing or quitting alcohol. I'm telling you, I could put the whole moisturizing skincare business out of business <laughs> if everyone, or if I was able to communicate to everyone that the best way to have beautiful looking skin is to not drink alcohol and drink lots of water instead. That's it. You don't need to be buying these fancy moisturizers that Jennifer Aniston and Charlize Theron and all these, you know, Hollywood stars are promoting with their Neutrogena or whatever it is, their expensive moisturizers, oil of Ule, I think it is. Honestly, you don't need any of that stuff. Truly you don't. Just reduce or quit alcohol and your skin will start to glow. Drink lots of water and your skin will start to feel hydrated and look hydrated and you will start to glow. Your body's largest organ is your skin. So we wear it on our face, on our body. And when you are drinking attractively packaged poisons such as wine or beer or vodka or tequila or cocktails or Bloody Marys or whatever it is that you are drinking, then you're dehydrating your body's largest organ. Your skin starts to look weathered. It starts to look dry. It starts to look flaky. People start to notice you've got bags under your eyes. You start to age. They did this study in the UK that showed that people have more visible signs of wrinkles and crow's feet after a night of drinking. It makes sense because you're not sleeping well, so you're not rejuvenated. Plus, you're dehydrating your body's largest organ, your skin. And of course, your skin's going to look dry and weathered. You're going to look old before your time. Do you want to look older than you need to look? Or do you want to look fresh and vibrant and rejuvenated and feel good all the time. I'll tell you, when I quit alcohol back in 2010, it was amazing. Within 30 days, I lost 13 pounds of fat. People started to say to me, wow, James, you look great. What's happened? Have you lost weight? Which I had, but a lot of it was my skin just looked really, really good. And it doesn't even have to look more than what nature intended it to look. It just looked the way that nature intended it to look all along. It's just that we're putting putting so much toxins and crap into our skin every time we drink that our skin looks more tired and more weathered and not as good as nature intended it always to look. So you do get better looking, it's amazing. I'll, I'll, there's a before and after photo somewhere here that maybe it's already come up or I'll show it to you, you can put it right now. Have a look at the before photo, have a look at the after photo. See in that before photo, my skin's tired, weathered, I've got bags under my eyes, I've got a double chin and I'm just unhappy and I just don't look good. Look at the photo next to it, look at me now, I look the way nature intended me to look. It's not any more than what I should look, and it, but it's not any less. But you're drinking alcohol, you're drinking this toxin, you're pouring it into your body and that is showing up on your skin, it's showing up on your body, it's showing up in your face. So you wanna get better looking, you don't need plastic surgery, you don't need fancy moisturizers, you don't need a nose job. You don't need any of those things. You just need to quit alcohol, at the very least reduce it, and start drinking a ton more water. It's incredible the transformation that you will have in your life, in your energy, clarity, focus, in your looks, when you just give up the poison that is alcohol. There's lots of free resources down below to help you get started with that. Reduce the alcohol, cut out the alcohol, you will get better looking. Warning, you get better looking when you quit alcohol. All right. Go get it done. Thank you so much for listening. I have some free stuff for you. If you go to jameswanick.com forward slash guide, I will send you my formula for reducing or quitting alcohol. If you'd like to watch 
the video versions of these episodes, then you can watch them at my YouTube channel, which is at James Swanick. If you'd like to send me a direct message on Instagram, you can do so at James Swanick. If you would like to try a three-day challenge, a free three-day challenge, you can go to jameswanick.com forward slash three-day challenge. If you would like to try the 30-day no alcohol challenge, you can go to 30-day no alcohol challenge. If you would like to schedule a 15-minute exploratory call with one of my coaches to see how we may be able to help you in your alcohol-free journey, you can go to jameswanick.com forward slash schedule. And my request is, if indeed you enjoyed this episode or you have enjoyed the podcast, would you please go ahead and rate the show in iTunes and would you please write a review? A review might just be a sentence saying, great, listen, hey, this was fantastic. Oh, I really enjoyed this. Whenever you give a rating, whenever you write a review, it surges our podcast up in the rankings, enabling more people to see it and hear it and potentially inspiring someone out there to reduce or quit alcohol and potentially transform their life. So yes, while it does help me to get ratings and to get reviews, you will actually be directly contributing to helping someone's life by having them discover this podcast. So if you are open to inspiring others and to helping me in the process, would you please go ahead and give this episode a ranking and would you please write a review? Thank you so much for listening and I will catch you on the next one.